Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over slopes and basic principles, how to calculate slopes and how to use that in math. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is linear equations. Linear equation just means a straight line on a graph. So the first thing you want to know is what is a slope. And a slope, all it means is, is the steepness of a line, how steep it is, one way or the other. And there's a few ways that you can calculate that. But really the main equation that you're going to use is this equation right here. y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. And all you need to find a slope of a linear equation is to find two points. They can be any points on this entire line right here. So I'm just going ahead and I'm going to give us it doesn't matter what the line is. I'm just going to give us two random points and then we're going to find the slope. It doesn't matter if we've seen the graph or we've seen the equation. All we need is two points. So the first one we'll take a look at is 4, 6. And we'll take a look at 1 and 2. And again, remember that this is x, this is y on both of them. So to keep things simple, I usually just put the larger numbers, make sure that you do them accordingly, one and one, so they both come from this one, but we'll do six minus two, and then four minus one. Make sure that you don't do one minus four since you did six minus two. So we'll do four minus one here. As you can see here, six minus two is four, and four minus one is three. So the slope of this line is 4 over 3, and this is the slope. And a lot of times you'll see this in an equation, and you'll see y equals 4 thirds x plus c, c being some constant. This could be 6, this could be 1006, it doesn't matter what number this is that just shifts it across the graph. So if we have a graph and we have a line here, all this number on the end does is it shifts it. So if we have a large positive number, it would just shift it this way. But the slope of the line is still going to be the same. It's still going to be 4 thirds. So anytime we're given the slope, we can find the equation of the problem here. And so that's also what I want to talk about is if we are given two points, let's say five and two and one and three. A lot of times they'll say to find the equation of this graph, so of this linear equation. So what we can do from here is first thing we're going to do, remember this is x and this is y, x and y. So we're going to go ahead and start with these. These are a little, one of them is bigger, one of them is smaller, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to do 2 minus 3 divided by um, 5 minus 1. And this is negative 1 up top, and this is 4 on the bottom. So our slope here is minus 1 over 4. And we're going to use that, and all we need to find the actual equation is one of these points. I'm just going to use 1, 3, it doesn't matter which one you use. And all you're going to do is you're going to do y minus y1, this is our variable that we're going to be using, equals m, which is our slope, x minus x1, and this is our equation right here. So then all we have to do, I'll go ahead and write this up here. X1, Y1. All we have to do is plug in our numbers. So we have Y minus 3 is equal to our slope, which is negative 1 fourth, times X. And then we have 1 here, so minus 1. And if we multiply these out, we get negative one-fourth x plus one-fourth. Remember, multiply two negatives together and you get plus one-fourth. Then, if we add three to both sides to get y by itself, 
Then we're going to get 13 over 4. 3 plus 1 fourth is 13 over 4, or 3 and 1 fourth. It doesn't matter how you write it. But our end problem, we're going to get y equals negative 1 fourth x. Remember, negative 1 fourth is our slope. And we're going to have plus 3 and 1 fourth, or 13 over 4. And so a lot of times they'll give you two points on a graph in a linear equation and say we want you to find the slope, which we did, and then we want you to find the equation for this linear equation. So all you have to do is use this equation right here, and it's y minus y1, y1 being this point of y, equals m, which is our slope, in parentheses x minus x1, x1 being our point. And it, again, it doesn't matter which points you use. We had the, uh, I think, 5 and 1. Didn't matter, or 5 and 2. It's still going to give you the same equation down here. So all you have to do is plug in the numbers and you get your equation down here. y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3 and 1 fourth. And this is going to give you your equation and your slope. And this is how you can use two points anywhere on a linear function to find your slope and your equation. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel, and make sure you check out the website, themathworld.com. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.